Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. <laughs> okay. Whole pile kind of come out here. Um, I'm using my vice versa cards. So there are images on both sides of the cards. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. And if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's just take start with those cards that fell out. So we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Tower. And we have the Star. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Two of Swords. Then we have the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. And then we have the High Priestess. All right. I feel that there facing a challenge because it's like the king of pentacles there is there's a bull that's right in front of him and facing this i feel that there's there's and then that person there um i haven't used these cards a lot i've had them for a long time but i haven't used them a lot so um But I feel like facing a challenge, rebuilding, tearing things down, that, that there's a, a big challenge in front of you. The eye is sticking out to me. Kind of seeing what's really going on in a situation. It's almost like there's a block in front of you that I feel that there's there's this block in front of you that's trying to prevent you from there's like this wall in front of you because there's a bull in front of the king of pentacles and then there's there's that image there that's in front of the star but my eye was drawn to we have a fruitfulness because we have a rose here, we have a dove here, and then we have a watermelon there. And there's all of these, these beautiful flowers and this harvest behind. I feel like you, you thought that you had put something behind you, but I feel that it, it's coming back around and that you hadn't really finished things out and that I almost feel like it's the final round. It's it's the final it's the final time where you finally see what's truly going on and you bust through those those blockages with that the lightning bolt coming through and then the two people um falling there and but then then the dove flies free. And then there's this this rose here. I just feel like it's a challenge that you're facing that even though it seems monumentous and it seems like you can't get past it, right around the corner is the rose, the dove, and the watermelon and the harvest. What do you need to focus on right now? I feel like it's see how with this image here there's everything's burning in the background right there's all of this 
the fires and everything, but he's kind of sitting there and he's he's ignoring that and he's just kind of focusing on himself. And this image here where he took off his armor and it has all of the swords in it. And then we have her, uh, the two of swords there and she's looking at the moon and she's trying to make a decision. And these are all swords. And I feel that it's almost, don't ignore the challenge that you've been through. Don't ignore what you've been going through or whatever this represents for you is don't ignore that. I almost feel like take that time to process it and to let it go and then move forward. Don't try and sweep the situation under the rug. Don't try and ignore it. Process it. Take that time to yourself. Take that time to work through it. Don't try and busy your mind to ignore the situation because I feel like this is a big release for you. Um, sometimes we just like to ignore situations and just sweep them under the rug, but I almost feel like it's, 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 it's more beneficial for you to process it. Because I feel like it's almost something so big that it's it's something that you can't even ignore. I feel that it's something, definitely something that ha is very exhausting. And, but I almost feel like make sure that you really process what's ever happened over here with this tower and this challenge that you you had faced or that you're facing. Because I feel this sense of freedom once you, once you, it's it's freeing yourself from that energies that's coming in is we have the um, three of cups and the knight of cups. I feel like this emotional lightness, and it's connecting more with yourself and kind of saying okay. I choose happiness and I choose what works for me. Definitely a big process here with all of this. But process it and then it brings you this lightness. Don't take shortcuts with this. Don't take shortcuts. Of course, you have to do whatever it is you feel that you need to do. I'm not telling you what you need to do. But it's almost like, it. even though it's something hard to go through, I feel that it'll be incredibly like rewarding for you. Look at that. Love that. The Five of Swords. We have the Star. And we have the Two of Cups. I feel that it brings you closer to yourself and you start to believe more in yourself and you start to really get in touch with yourself and in tune with yourself and you don't let what other people have to say bother you anymore and you don't let situations get to you and you say, okay, this is what I need to do for me is that I need to be my own light. I need to be my own direction and I feel like it's kind of trusting and relying in yourself more. And surrounding yourself with those relationships that are a connection, right? With the two hands holding themselves. And I feel like it's, or the two hands holding each other. Um, I feel like it's, it's, I just feel like there's a big shift coming for Capricorn. And it's embrace it even though it's challenging and it's tough i mean because i know because i'm going through the same thing and because i'm capricorn sun and a capricorn rising and i've definitely been going through things and i can feel this energy and i can feel this change but yet it's um i feel that it's it's a big shift going into the next like next year i think is going to be really big for Capricorn. I think it's going to be a big shift. And it's like, um, like I had said before, my other reading is that I had was just listening to a reading by um, the love messages. And 
making sure that at the end of this year that you purge everything that you need to purge, that you let go of everything that you need to let go of so that when you start the new year, that you're feeling light and you're feeling free. And that's what I've been saying all like for the last month, I feel like my readings have definitely, and I've always said that before, is that at the end of the year, I always feel like that's the time when Capricorn purges everything and Capricorn lets everything go. And it's like, it, it gets kind of rough and because it's those things that you're working through so that you can start going to Capricorn season and to start, you know, the new year and, you know, it's Capricorn's birthdays and really have that double new beginning and starting very light and starting very fresh and feeling that guidance and that direction and that strength and again, pouring out what doesn't work for you, not letting what you know, those things that used to bother you, not letting that, not having those walls or those blocks there um, and working through those and feeling that happiness and that lightness. But it's work that you have to do and being in this moment and making sure that you process things, even though there may be all of this chaos going on around you, but to say, okay, this is what I need to focus on. This is what I need to do. This is what I need to work on and giving yourself that chance right to work on those things all right i'm gonna grab the star dragons giving yourself that chance chance to work on those things we have transformation defining yourself i love it perfect 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 defining yourself and who you are and what you want right I feel that goes with the star card is that transformation within yourself, right? Letting go of this armor that you have around you and defining who you are and what is important to you and what you like to focus on and what you like to do and what matters to you and putting yourself in situations that are beneficial to yourself and not surrounding yourself with people that are not supporting you or don't understand you right with this not letting what other people have to say bother you even though that's either easier said than done it doesn't mean that everything's going to be done at once but it's like if you can recognize what's going on here that you can recognize that this challenge is here to show you something for you to learn from it for you to grow from it and for you to take time to process it and to let that go so you're defining yourself and saying, this is what I want to surround myself with. And this is the energy that I want to be in. And these are the relationships that I want to have. All right. Big transformations here for um, Capricorn, you know, just from what, what I'm getting with my readings. And sometimes like their messages can be repeating, but it's almost like sometimes we have to keep hearing things. Just like Monica said in her reading, she was saying how that she has to keep repeating it until you know, you can get it through your head, like you can understand it, that you can process it, that even if it's it's the hundredth time you've heard the same message, but if the hundredth, hundredth, hundred and first time, it's like, yes, now I get it. It makes sense, right? That if that's how many times you needed to hear the message, but then it finally clicks and it works, then that's what needs to be done. And you know, it's that one time when, oh, that finally makes sense. Like, I get it. I understand it. It's that transformation. It's about defining myself. It's about me choosing me and surrounding what's important for me. And for me not to hold on to things that don't work for me. And even though I have these challenges, there's really beautiful things, a release and beautiful things that can happen by going through these challenges for me to see that there's a behavior or situations or people or whatever it may be that have to be changed that I've grown out of that that I'm moving on and I'm changing all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and I'll see you next time